Ice hockey looks to move up the Hockey East standings. A couple of track and field records are shattered, and men's lacrosse start their season off with a scrimmage. All of the details and more on this edition of the River Hawk Report. After winning seven straight games, the hockey team finds themselves in a bit of a rough patch. They travel to Northeastern on Friday to exact revenge on the Huskies, then they come back on Saturday for a game against UNH. Men's basketball won big over the weekend, and they look to take that confidence into a week that features two road games. Men will travel to Albany on Wednesday before coming home to take on Binghamton. They travel again next Monday to play Stony Brook. Playing a mirrored schedule, the women's team is pretty much the same as the men's. They'll play Albany, Binghamton, and Stony Brook over next weekend. Their only road game, however, is their matchup with Binghamton. Both the men and women's track teams set school records over the weekend. The men set an indoor pole vaulting record, while the women have a new record in the mile. Both teams will compete this weekend at the Dartmouth Indoor Classic on Sunday. The men's lacrosse team looks to get ready for their upcoming season with a Saturday scrimmage against St. A's. The game will come at Cushman Field Complex at noon. Now it's time for your Sage Bank Plays of the Week at number three. Daryl Grady going in. Jahat Thomas says, you'll get nothing and like it, boy. Sit down and look pretty. At number two, a play made famous by Semi Pro. It's called the Alley Oop. Ryan Jones up to Dontavia Smith. Send it down. Didn't break a backboard this time, and he actually made it. Your top play of the week, hockey at BU. CJ Smith dangles not one but two Terriers. Goes five hole in the freshman goalie Otten. And we got a penalty. And one. See it again here. A little bit of whoop and a whoop. Beautiful shot by CJ Smith. Those are your Sage Bank plays of the week.